I'm presenting an update on the Lawrence County US 52 State Route 7 Corridor Safety Management Plan. The outcome of the study is a plan for future improvements and implementation of projects to address safety and traffic problems in the US 52 and State Route 7 corridors throughout Lawrence County. A draft of the report will be available for review at the end of this week. As a summary of the project and the analysis, Following identification of problems, alternatives were analyzed for locations to determine a cost-effective improvement. Using this analysis, in addition to analyzing at grade intersections and driveways along the corridor, we have identified areas that we've evaluated in greater detail. You can see on this map the location of the recommendations. These areas include US 52, Orchard Road, and State Route 93 interchange area in Ironton, US 52 and State Route 243 interchange near Cold Grove. This is shown on green on the map since this project is scheduled for construction. The US 52 and Ashland Bridge area. US 52, County Road 1, County Road 15 in Grandview and Delta areas. The Burlington Key Road and Charlie Creek areas. State Route 7 and 6th Street Bridge in Chesapeake. State Route 7 and East Bridge ramps and intersections, as well as State Route 7 and Irene Road intersections. Recommendations also include technology improvements for the corridor. A draft list of the recommendations has been compiled following the reviews. Draft construction costs for the corridor include 15 to 20 million for short-term improvements, 25 to 30 million dollars for medium-term improvements, and 130 to 145 million for long-term improvements that include Chesapeake Bypass, Burlington, Macedonia, and Charlie Creek Road interchanges, and a new Ohio River crossing to the east of Huntington. I wanted to point out that our team is also currently looking at a short-term improvement at the US 52 and County Road, also known as Lit Creek Road intersection, to possibly add a turn lane in the median. Here's a draft of the proposed improvement that we are evaluating following crash analysis, traffic counts, and geometric layout. Thank you for the opportunity to present. Please let me know if there are any